In today's video, we're going to talk about different ways to turn a shot from color into black and white, as well as manipulate different channels to get different looks within the black and white realm. And then we'll use the qualifier to bring back one or multiple colors of the original shot. All right, so here on our timeline, we have three different shots. Let's just jump over to the color tab. So the idea here with black and white is we're pretty much just getting rid of the saturation. We're getting rid of all the color data and we're just using the luminance data, the brightness data. So let's close some of this here. And here we're on our first node. We could simply just take our saturation and reduce it all the way down. That is a very simple way of getting black and white. Uh, we can take it a step further. So if I, I'm just double clicking on the sat here to reset it. If we come over to our RGB color mixer, we can click on monochrome. We'll get the exam, same exact thing. The cool thing is well, once we click on monochrome, we can adjust the different color channels to manipulate how the brightness works. So this is our red channel and we can increase or decrease that red channel, the brightness within that red channel. And the same with the green and the blue. So you can get you know creative results here. Uh, additionally, what we can do is once we have our black and white, we could come into our curves and we can manipulate the brightness and contrast here. You could come into the red channel and say the highs are really high and all of these other values, you could move these around and say, okay, the, the values that are, that are, you know, at the bottom of the red channel, we could crush those and, uh, and so on. So that's pretty much how we would just change uh, a shot to black and white. Let's jump over to another shot here and we'll just do the same exact thing here by just clicking the monochrome. And now what we were uh, requested, let's say, or the, uh, the uh, look that we're going for is getting back our uh, red and our blue for our flag. So everything is just black and white. Next, we're going to um, adjust a node, but we're going to add a layer mixer. And the idea here with the layer mixer is we're taking a node here and we're just going to lay another node on top of it so the node on top of it is visible. So all we're going to do is we're going to be clicking on this node and we're going to hit Alt L for a layer mixer to be created and then it creates another node. Now it's going to first process this node and then it's going to take this node and lay it on top of that node. Okay, so now for this node we're going to be making a mask. You could simply just make a mask, you know, like this, and you could move this around. And then inside the mask, you have your selection. And this selection is going to be laying over top of this node because this one's color. That's why we see the colors, but that's not exactly the, the thing we're going for. We just want the red and the blue. So we would come over to our qualifier and this is where we can qualify it. Uh, you can click on your qualifier and click on a color and it's going to pick that color. It's going to get the values for your, your hue, your saturation, and your luminance. And it's gonna you know, create those little areas. If we click on our highlight tool here, which will show our mask, this particular one came out pretty good. There's a little bit down here. If we look down here, um, and this is just compression within the shot. If we go over to our black and white, we can see that here a little bit. Down here, we can, uh, because the rest of everything here is white, we could take our clean white and just move this up and we'll get rid of most of that that's in there. So that's one way that we could go about doing this. And now we have in this shot, we have our red stripes. And then we also have to get our blue. But sometimes, depending on the footage that you're working with, sometimes it's hard to, to pull a qualifier. So I would say try this way. If you, you know, need to adjust things, you can always increase the width, 
uh, move around the center and it's just saying that in the middle here is the color value that we're picking and then the softness goes out so it'll get a couple of the other colors outside of that. Same with the saturation and luminance. But let's say we didn't wanna use that tool. One of the other cool tools that makes things a little easier and a lot of these tools are kind of hit and miss. That's why there's so many here that all do the same exact thing, just a little differently. Uh, so let's go over to one that makes things a little easier. And this is just the 3D qualifier. And the cool thing with this is we can just draw a line wherever that color is. And what it's going to do is it's going to get all of those values added in. And you can add more and more, but uh, we can also get our blue here. And now we have our blue and we also have our red, but you'll notice that some of the uh, the red is kind of uh, like boxy and pixely. So we can you know grab a little bit more on the red. And then if we want to clean this up a little bit, just come over to our white and black. And then we can just say, okay, we wanna clean up the whites here a little bit. And we can also go over that to get that there. And now we have pretty much everything here. <clears throat> now, if we look at our shot, we have, let's uh, play this one. Actually, let's go in the loop and play this one. Now we have our shot here. There's a little bit of noise. Um, and as we see when we, when we slant up a bit, there's, uh, you know, some of this is, is jumping around. So you could come in here and, uh, you know, pick a, a bit more of this red if you want it to or just get a better uh, qualifier. So you could, you know, try the others as well. Um, in the future, I can make videos on how to use the other ones. I do have a couple of videos on using some of them to achieve other effects. I can also come back to this one and I could affect however I want the rest of this shot to look. Let's go back to fit and we could work within that black and white and make the black and white look a little bit better or not better. Um, but yeah, you can still go in and, and uh, fix these. And if you want to, you you could add more and you know, pick particular things and work on those things. Uh, you can also add more into, if you click right here, and if you go to add input, you can add in another input and then wire up another node so that that will lay on top of everything. If you wanna pick particular things, you just have to remember that whatever is coming out of a node is all the information that you have to work with. So I can't work on this one and bring back color value. So that's just something to, to keep in mind. And because this is coming from our source, that's how I was able to get the, the red and the blue color data. If I was to change the input from there to here, I there's no color data here to work with. Uh, so you just have to be cautious of where you're pulling your sources into your nodes. If I was to add another node, and let's say I was to change a color value, it's going to affect you have to remember that on this node, I have a very particular qualifier. It's going to affect the, the colors um, and what I have selected. So let's jump over to the next shot. So here's another shot. We're going to do the same exact thing, make this black and white, and we're going to add in a layer mixer with another node. And we're going to pick her uh, outfit here. So now we have the blue. But one thing that you'll notice is we have the blue here, but there's a blue flower over here. So this blue flower over here, we don't want to be visible. We only want her blue uh, shirt to be visible here. So one of the things we could do is picking one of these uh, power windows as a mask, we could uh, open this up and then now all my effects that I have are only going to be inside of here. So the, the qualifier is only going to work inside of here. If I had a, a couple of, let's say there was two people with blue shirts to make this a little easier, I might not make a, a window for both of these or maybe the flowers in between them and I don't want the flower. What I could do is I could go to the flower, grab that flower, because uh, sometimes it, it really depends on how you want to track a shot if you have a lot of moving stuff. But let's say this flower I didn't want. 
I could invert this and now I could track here and not have that be a part of the frame, but then everything else that's blue, I could have uh, being affected by our qualifier. So it really depends on what, what it is that you're trying to pull out of a shot and then what makes it easier. Do I want to have two or three power windows or do I want to just get rid of that one thing and then reverse the mask by tracking that one thing and then not having it be a part. So, uh, okay, so now I have this set up here. Let's say, okay, it's blue. Maybe I, maybe I was instructed to have this a different color. So I currently have this as a pretty good key. Let's take a look at it quick. It looks pretty good. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of blue down there. I didn't even notice. Uh, it looks like in her purse, there might be a little bit of a blue reflection, um, but let's just leave it. It's not that noticeable. Okay, so her blue uh, shirt here, we want to change the color of it. So one of the th things we could do is just come down here to hue and we could just move this to something else. And now she has a blue or a, a green shirt. If I was to move the hue a bit more, we could get all sorts of different colors. I'm just using my uh, control panel here, but you get the idea um, just right down here, just switching this between all the different colors. Um, you could do it that way, or you could go into a particular selector and then you could move this around as well and get different colors. Um, so there's a couple of different ways that you could do this. And like we were talking about before, I could come into this particular shot and come back over to here and we could you know move this around a little bit to get a different result uh, and if we wanted to we could add in uh, another one and you know affect this even more so but yeah that's pretty much the uh the the video that i have for you for today it's uh just using uh qualifiers to select particular colors that you want to keep in a shot and then also uh, reducing saturation to go black and white as well as using the RGB color mixer and then selecting monochrome to also go black and white and be able to control channels independently. And with that being said, let me know in the comments what you think about this one. If you have any ideas or suggestions, let me know down there as well. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.